We're getting ready in a shoulder width apart position with our feet, lifting up tall, engaging our core, pulling in the navel, pelvic floor lifting, and we'll start on squats. Moving through the legs, moving through the arms, getting our bodies moving. Warming up, feeling the feet grounded, the toes wide, moving through the shoulders, the arms, keeping that nice long neck, long line through the spine, all the way down to the tailbone. Keep the rib cage connected to your navel. And just slowly getting our heart rate up a little bit. Moving through, breathing through engaging your glutes, engaging the navel into your spine, pelvic floor, lifting up into your abdomen, keeping the shoulders open, width across your collarbones, and then switch to squatting and then big circle with your arms. And have that clear idea of your spine being in the neutral as you squat. Just tilting in space. No flexion or extension along the way. And then check in with your feet again. Keep those toes wide. Keep the big toe base and the small toe base pressing down. The heels pressing down. And 10 more. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then just let the arms drop, the head drop, and then roll down your spine, pulling your navel in deep, getting a stretch in the back of the legs, hanging over your legs for a moment, letting go of the arms and the head. And then walk out into a high plank, placing your hands underneath your shoulders, feeling the length all the way through your body. If this is too much on your wrists, feel free to go down on the elbows. And then just lower the knees down, keeping your core tight, pulling your abdominal wall into your back, extending back into that flat line. Inhale down, just tapping down, extending and pulling the heels away. Keeping the strength in the shoulders, shoulder girdle. So your shoulder blades are pulled apart, chest is high, and keep your face far away from the mat. Keep pulling it up, lengthening, elongating through the neck. Chin and chest are connected. Work your quads, pull your kneecaps up as you extend tapping down and extending the knees. Ribs are closing into your midline. Navel is pulling into your spine. Feel the transverse in your lower abdomen. Feel it firm across. 
two more here and one more and then just walk your hands back to your feet bending the knees along the way just to have another breath here hanging over your legs and then rolling up through your spine vertebra by vertebra all the way up into a nice tall stance and we're going into power lunges one leg forward the arms up picking up some flow try to hit close to a right angle in both knees and get the body moving get the breath going heart rate up make sure the shoulders are dropped neck is elongated feel space at the base of the skull the gaze soft forward straight forward Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One extra with your left leg forward, pressing the palms together now. Now go down low to just touch the mat with the back knee, lifting up a couple inches, tap and lift. Shoulders are wide, neck is long, core engaged. Really working into your glutes and quads here, hamstrings, feeling the feet strong. Five more. And two. And one. Now go straight into a plank with your left leg out to the side. So you're going to be in an asymmetrical plank here. And now the right knee is touching down and you're pushing back up. Touch down, push up. Inhale, tap, exhale, extend. Inhale, down, exhale, extend. Working your core, working that right leg. You'll feel the quads in the right leg. And four more. And three, two, and one. And then keep that knee down. The left leg is gonna circle back, finding a straight line through your body and out to the side where it was circle it back and to the side working the left side glutes now the obliques keeping your shoulders square shoulder blades wide long in your neck four more keep the elbows soft two more and the
the last one. And then just pull both knees in. Sit back into a child pose. Take a breath here. And then push up into a triangle, going for a stretch. Bringing the elbows back towards the feet. Sit bones all the way up. And then just lower the heel down into the mat. Try to stretch through your spine. Releasing the neck. And then walk the hands back towards your feet. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly rolling up. Lifting up tall, feeling the feet grounded. And we're going to go into power lunges again. Gaze forward, nice and soft. Check in with your core, pelvic floor, navel, rib cage connecting. And get your heart rate up a little bit again. The breath going, breathing through. Trying to hit that right angle again. And four, three, two, one, and then one extra right leg forward, palms together, find your right angle. And then from here, left knee tapping down, lifting up, little tap and up. Now try to have both hips on the same level Glutes engaged in both buttocks. All toes are facing forward. The ribs are connecting inwards into your midline. Feel the shoulders open. Press the palms together. And four. Three. Two, and one, and then go down onto your hands, straightening the mat here, the right leg out to the side, and then left knee down, tapping down, pushing up into your asymmetrical plank, tap down, and push up, keep the shoulders square. Elbows soft, neck is long, top of the head reaching forward. Inhale down, exhale, push away. Re-engage your core, check on rib cage, navel, pelvic floor landmarks. And two more here. And one. And then place that knee down. Inhale and exhale, reach the leg back into the straight line through your body. And tap down to the side, circle back and to the side, inhale, exhale, inhale back. Feel the obliques working, stabilizing. And you're working the glutes dynamically in your moving leg side, right side. Stabilizing on the left side, so you try to not lean over, but keep your pelvis centered. Four more. And three. 
two, one, both knees parallel, and then sit back into a child pose. Stay here for a breath. Releasing the shoulders and the neck, releasing the lower back. And then push up into a triangle. Slowly easing in. Go for that external rotation in your shoulders, elbows, rotating back. Making sure you have grip with your hands and the feet. Stretching, letting the heels drop. And then slowly walk back. Inhale here. And then slowly rolling up on an exhale, pulling the navel in. Lifting up tall. And now have the hands together here and we'll do some split jumps, starting small and getting bigger. Just getting another kick for the heart rate. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And just let the breath come down. Heart rate come down. Inhale. And exhale, slowly rolling down. Taking a stretch here. Hold on to your hands and let the shoulders open as the arms are pulling forward. And then release. And roll up through your spine. And then bring the left foot forward into a lunge with the arms all the way forward. And just bring the heel up, heel down, heel up, heel down. Feeling the length through the back leg, the length all the way through your upper body and the arms. And do four more here. Two. And one. And then have the hands in front of the chest. And go into a back extension, rounding in and extending out. Nicely pulling out into that diagonal. Inhale down. Exhale, extend. Inhale, and exhale. Four more. Two, and one, and then push back, inhale, big circle up, exhale, rolling down your spine, inhale as you just hang over the legs, and exhale, slowly back up. right foot forward. Find your lunge with the back leg straight and the arms up. Find that diagonal and then heel up and heel down. Inhale. 
Engage your core, navel in, pelvic floor lifting, the rib cage connected to your pelvis, to your midline. Reaching through that back leg, arms pulling forward in the diagonal. And two more. And one more. And then bring the hands to your chest and go into a back extension, rounding in, extending out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Four more. And three. And two. Last one. And push back. Inhale, big circle up. Exhale, slowly down. Take a stretch here. And then walk out into a forearm plank. Now take the right leg over the left. So you're gonna be in a slightly twisted position here, making sure the shoulders are square. Try to have your forearms facing forward so you have that external rotation in the shoulders, which is quite nice, the training for the shoulder muscles, rotator cuff, and then lift and lower in that twist to work your obliques. Keep a squeeze in the glutes. Lifts and lower. Keep the feet happy. Lots of awareness in the core. Reminders for pelvic floor, navel, connecting the ribs. A reminder for the shoulders to stay open, the neck to stay long. Releasing your face. And four, three, two, one, and then come back. Maybe this is a moment where you wanna take a break, bring the knees down on the mat, sit back into a child pose, or you hold your plank, keep the intensity going, keep pulling the heels away, the top of the head reaching forward, and when you're ready, left leg crossing over, and we're gonna lift and lower on that side. Just little lifts and lowers. Working into the obliques, the core, pelvic floor, squeezing the glutes. Little lifts and lowers. Try not to dip too low. And four more. Three, two, one, uncross, hold your plank just for a moment, and then release down on your stomach. Take a moment, just release down here, extending your feet, giving your pelvis a little wiggle, and then have the hands underneath your shoulders and push back into a gentle cobra. Checking in with your lower back. And release down. Inhale. Exhale, Cobra. And you decide how much tension you want to keep in the abs. And according to that, you'll get more of an extension in the lumbar spine 
or less of that. So try to feel into your spine. Pushing the shoulders down, lengthening through your neck. Make this feel good. And then slowly push back onto your knees. Placing your feet, getting them ready. To roll up into standing, pulling the belly button in, pressing the feet down into the mat. Lifting up tall and we'll go for another set of little split jumps. Starting small, getting bigger. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pushing back. Inhale and exhale, rolling down your spine. Releasing here, taking a breath. And then walking out into another forearm plank. Placing your feet, placing your elbows underneath your shoulders, forearms straight, and then go into little twists, right side of the pelvis, facing down to the mat, back straight, right side down, stay on that right side, twisting, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. First side, one more time. This might be the moment to go on the knees and do the same thing on your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. To the left. One, two, belly button in. Three, ribs closing. Four, shoulders wide. Five, six, glutes engaged. Seven, long in your neck. Eight, nine, 10, and the knees down. Push back into a child pose, reaching your arms forward. Releasing all the tension in the shoulders, in the neck. Breathing into your lower back, widening it. Relax your feet all the way down, relax your toes. And then push back onto your feet one more time getting ready for a roll up. So sit bones up in the air, arms and head relaxed, and exhale, pulling your navel in, slowly coming up. Lifting up tall, one more set of split jumps. Small and getting bigger. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Taking a moment to straighten the mat and to take a breath. And take the arms up, inhale. And exhale slowly down. Rolling 
down your spine and go into an all fours, straightening your feet. Now go into a twisted stretch. Reach the left arm underneath the right and twist. One of my favorite stretches to release my spine, the upper spine especially, but also getting a stretch for the shoulder, the underneath shoulder, and that other side. Reaching. And depending on how much of a stretch you want to get into that rotation, you push a little more with the hand that you've got pressing into the mat. Just play around with your body. Feel into your body. Check what it means. And then release. And go into seated. We'll just add a little bit of core before we end this workout. And for the roll downs, I would advise you to go for a halfway roll down. If the full roll down isn't something that's available to you, maybe your spine is a little stiffer and you'll need a lot of momentum to get yourself back up. So then choose a halfway roll down. And if you can, smoothly go down, go all the way down, inhale, arms overhead, exhale, rolling up, chin, chest, navel in. Make sure you do get that flexion to slowly get back up. Feet are heavy in the mat, inhale, exhale, slowly down, hollowing out that abdomen, and inhale. Finding the length in the neck. Make this feel really good. The shoulders open and exhale. Chin, chest, looking down to your navel, making sure the ribs are moving towards your pelvis so you can smoothly come back up and inhale here. Exhale slowly down. Inhale. Exhale. And then hold it halfway. And just take the hands in a prayer position. Elbows are pulling out. And twist to one side and to the other side. Gently rotating but working into a deep core intensity. And four more. And three, and two, and one each. And then bring the soles of the feet together, go into a butterfly stretch. Releasing the knees down to the mat. Opening in the hips, stretching the adductors, releasing the neck and the shoulders. And then just bring those knees back up, inhale. Last roll down for everybody now. Down on the mat and then pull one knee in. Stretching the other leg away, stretch it and extend it and release it down on the mat. So you don't want to hold it. You really want to open that hip. Now elongate your neck a little more, sliding the back of the head up along the mat. And then pull it across into a twist here. 
another one top of the list for me. Maybe looking the other way and then play with that rotation in your spine and try to target the areas which need mobilization so you can bring your knee slightly further up or slightly further down and accordingly your rotation will wander up or further down. Take a breath here opening the shoulder too, opening through the pecs and then come back to the center go straight into a figure four pulling in and stretching the glutes the breaths releasing the tension enjoying being in your body being present and then reach both legs up just stretch them up to the ceiling and then pull your left knee in and extend the right leg out extend it and then release it down into the floor releasing through your hips and then go into a twist gently exploring how far you want to go here and again knee slightly further up or further down is going to change the game and then opening through the opposite shoulder feeling the pecs opening up Releasing through that first grip as you breathe. And then as you slowly come back, go straight into a figure four, reaching through and pulling in. Your stomach can now relax and drop into your pelvis, into your back. And release just pull both knees in a gentle rock side to side and then roll over to one side and come up into seated find a cross-legged or even cross over one leg just the way you feel comfortable and then take a moment to breathe here, feeling the sit bones pressing down, the top of the head reaching up. Close your eyes for a moment just to be in your body. Enjoy this post-workout moment of being so focused, your mind internalized, dropped in the body, being so peaceful and focused. So you can let your mind drop into that place of calm and confidence, wherever you find it in your body. Just let it rest there for a moment. Just a couple of breaths to recover, replenish. Spread the calm, the confidence into your body. And then slowly bring your awareness back into the room. Feel the body connecting into the floor. Open your eyes, open your senses up into the room. And then arms up, big circle up and bring in all the good things. Palms together, bring them into your body, down through your midline. Thank you so much for joining today.